What's up music makers, it's Luke from Sojourner Tracks with another two minute tips video where I answer specific questions about logic in around, uh, but mostly not even close to two minutes. Today we're talking about how to get a multiple mic situation going in Amp Designer. So if you've looked at Amp Designer at all, you've probably realized there's no way to get a second mic on the cabinet. And if you come from the real world of guitar recording, you know that is a great way to really capture the depth and character of a cabinet. And one of my biggest complaints about Amp Designer is just that it sounds kind of thin, maybe not all that realistic sometimes. Uh, so this is gonna go a long way to solving that problem and give you a lot of tonal options. And it's really easy. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. I have my guitar pulled up here. It is a mono signal, so the first thing that we need to do is make it stereo. And this is actually uh, an idea that I got out of a Sound on Sound article that I will link in the description below. A really good article with lots of other stuff in it. Uh, so we need to pull up the direction mixer. And this is going to allow us to actually monitor the signal in stereo, which is kind of important if you haven't recorded anything yet. We'll take the spread down to zero. So now. It's a stereo signal that is just basically splitting the mono signal equally. So now we can pull up the amp designer in dual mono. If you worked with dual mono at all, you know that dual mono gives you independent left and right controls. So that means that you can now add a different mic in the right channel. So if we pulled up the SM57, for example, so now we've got the uh, ribbon mic, the Royer, in the left channel, and we've got the SM57 in the right channel. Did I say right twice? You get what I mean. So that gives you a lot of different character options for your amp. Now you could go all the way to uh, changing um, the, the whole setup in left and right. So you could do a different amp in the left than the right. Um, I like to do just this, just changing the mics. So another thing that you can do is actually couple them now that you've changed the mics. And actually uh, when you start to move controls around here a little bit, that's going to happen in both left and right channels. So the amp head and all the controls are staying the same, but I've still got the di two different mics. You can see that opens up a lot of options. So dual mono is one of those things that really gives you a ton of tonal characteristics um, that does leave you with, you know, one mic in the right channel and one mic in the left channel. If you wanna collapse those back down to mono, you can go back and add another instance of the direction mixer. And again, take the spread down to zero. And now it's gonna be both mics, but still coming through as mono. If you're digging today's content, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting new videos every week. You can also check out SojournerTracks.com and grab yourself some free guides that are going to help you create more memorable, amazing music at home. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.